Hope you're all doing well. So maybe first tell me a little bit about yourselves. Um, I'm Lula Kamosi. Um, yeah, I'm a senior project manager at Digify Africa. Um, I've got about around eight years experience in like project management and key account management. So that's basically sort of my history. I started my career in recruitment and sort of the HR type of vibe, but now I've sort of found my home <laughs> and doing very um, impactful work, working at Digify Africa and just being of service to the young people of South Africa. So yeah, that's me. Hi, I am Kagaz Tembo and I am the COO at uh, Digify Africa. Um, yeah, I really am just uh, really passionate about young people, about education, technology and the arts. I also run Word and Sound, which is one of the continent's biggest uh, poetry, digital poetry youth brands. Um, and through there, I get to then merge my love for digital um, and the arts as well. Um, my background has sort of been in digital content, uh, then moved into agency. Um, and yeah, really looking for something meaningful um, at some point in, in, in my career, which is what brought me to Digify Africa. I love the fact that, yeah, we can really work um, at giving young people the skills that they need for, for this digital economy, you know? So what can you say about digital inequality in Africa? Um, I think when it comes to digital inequality on the continent it's something that really is holding us back quite uh, quite a lot and i think now with uh the covid lockdown in all of the countries and how we've had to now move to working largely online even with our training you actually start to see just how that digital divide is still there and really um closing a lot of young people away from from opportunities you know um, but at the same time i think there is um, an increase in getting more and more communities connected, which is really going to open up more and more opportunities. But the the divide is there; it is major, and it, it really does need a lot of like just strategic thinking. And I think it really does need some some government intervention, you know, to really change things up so that service providers like ourselves, who are here saying we want to give um, these skills and these opportunities to young people, are able to actually get a hold of the young people. Mm. That's a great point. And, and what would you describe as the opportunities in digital in Africa? Oh man, it's so exciting. You know, I think it's so funny because when I was studying uh, 12 years ago, it was called new media. And now it's, it's just media. Like there's nothing new about it pretty much, you know. And if I can think about like all of the careers that have um, started or been created um, since 12 years ago, there's, it feels like there's a new job, a new career. Every every like day, there's something new. There's actually now a Zoom operator, you know, who's someone in the background. And because Zoom oh, and, wow. and sort of video conferencing, yeah, I saw it the other day. I was just like, ah, I'm not just like a cool magic, but <laughs> it's stuff like that, you know. As as technology advances each and every day, that means that there's a new career, there's a new job there, you know. So I think for us, what we see a lot of is uh, within the realm of digital marketing because that's sort of our, our field of expertise and there it's it's amazing to just see what is possible you know so you running someone's facebook page you know i remember uh, about six years ago i was i was doing exactly that managing a couple of facebook pages and my brother laughed at me he was just like so your job is to play on facebook all day you know but that is a legitimate job it's called being a community manager it's actually a thing you know um and that's something that's there so as businesses need to move online they need someone to help them with their digital presence you know um as yeah as as industries move online there become more and more opportunities for young people to be able to 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 tap into um, and it's also stuff that you can be able to teach yourself or learn and be able to then provide those services um, to your community um, around you. you know? So there's a lot, there's a lot. And as we speak, there have probably been three new jobs that have been created that we never knew existed before. Um, and that's, that's what makes digital quite exciting. You know? And Lulega, I'd like to get your perspective around inequality and as well as these opportunities that Kaza has been speaking about. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I think, um, I'm of the same opinion as um, Kagaza, and I think the biggest thing um, in our country specifically 
um, is mostly around access, number one. Um, it's great that we offer what we offer, you know, um, but I think we're still a long way away from closing the, the digital divide and that's sort of the, the, in, the inequality that's sort of happening. There will always be this disparity of people who know more and people who are more advanced and then people who are completely left behind. Um, and with regards to just the opportunities, I think um, digital marketing and moving online and now with COVID, COVID has actually brought us an amazing opportunity for people to see where else can I make money. Um, and this is also in the entrepreneurship sort of space. It's not just in, in, in jobs, but just people in businesses looking for opportunities of where can I make money, <laughs> you know? Um, because now a social media influencer is essentially an entrepreneur and it's a new job that was brought in through, you know, digital and social media. Um, so there's other opportunities for people to just look into their daily lives. What problem can I solve? And where can I make money? And I think that's where people need to be looking, especially for the future. Yeah. Hmm. So how can programs like Digify Pro help in making sure that um, young people in Africa are skilled and, com and can participate in the economy? Yeah, I think Digify Pro is, again, two-pronged two in a way, um, in terms of the impact that it has. Um, I, I believe that the, the skills that we teach, not only obviously in terms of theoretical and understanding, you know, the digital landscape um, in the country and understanding, you know, all the different sort of um, digital terms, you know, um, and also the fields like social media and content and strategy and UX and all of that. You get that understanding, but I think the industry perspective is the biggest thing that is so beneficial about Digify Pro because the experts that come in and come and speak to participants who, come, who go through the program, um, they they reveal a lot of things that can help the participants either in the job space or the entrepreneurship space. There's always this thing of getting new ideas, um, of being exposed, because you know, the exposure is the biggest thing <laughs> to a human being. I mean, if you've never been exposed to travel, you'll never actually leave your house. It's the same with like digital marketing. If you've never actually experienced things online, you'll never actually see where money can be made, where jobs can be created, et cetera, et cetera. So I think that's what Digify Pro actually does for young people. And Karata, as a young person sitting at home today, how would you advise them to access these programs and, you know, access these opportunities that are available to them? Well, to every young person who's sitting at home, I definitely would say start with going to at Digify Africa on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, because we really do have some really amazing um, funded programs, which means that you as the young person wouldn't have to pay for them. But the the number of courses that are available online is really amazing, you know, so really start with a basic Google search, you know, whatever it is that you're interested in. So um, another field that is really big is data science, you know, and I think data is the, the, the big thing, you know, and understanding data, understanding the analytics behind it and how to understand it and literally just go and Google how to data science, you know, and to see what pops up there. Um, a lot of stuff, so I, I also design and a lot of the stuff has also been self-taught because I would actually say, okay, cool, I'm actually struggling with something on whatever program it is that I'm using and I'd go to YouTube and believe me that there's a, a tutorial on everything, you know? So I think for me, it's really about understanding how powerful the internet is and how much information is sitting there freely available to you, you know? And I think it's just about one, having an attitude of wanting to explore, you know, and I think that that's what the internet really provides, you know, it's like a world and you can literally just say, I'm going to check something for five minutes and like wake up and it's five hours later because you've been, you've gone from one link to another link to another link, you know? So I think the first thing I'd say to young people is really be curious, you know, um, there's an entire world out there. There's so much that's there. If you can just take the time to, to, to Google things that you're interested in, and it's so funny because what we realized with Digify Pro is that people come into the program wanting to be social media managers because that's maybe something that they're most exposed to, but because they then get exposed to everything else, you know, they then realize that actually, no, 
what I want to be is like um, an SEO specialist, you know, or I want to do UX or UI. So I think for me, it's really about wanting to explore, you know, go online with 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 those big eyes of just wanting to see the world, see what's out there, you know. Um, but there's amazing online courses that are free. There are some that, of course, are, are, are paid for. Uh, but it's really just about going there and being curious, be curious, really. And for business owners, this is obviously top of mind, what I'm about to say, and for young people that might not be, but safety is a big concern when you are going online. How would you advise both, you know, entrepreneurs and job seekers and uh, business owners on how to access these opportunities safely um, in this time? Yeah, I mean, internet safety for businesses, for young people, for anyone who's interacting with the internet is something that really is um, important. So again, I think to read up on on there, because there's a lot of articles that are out, you know, around um, how to just be safer online. But I think it goes back to just like sort of just basic things on your personal information, you being very careful about how you share your personal information and where you share your personal information. I remember when I first uh, joined Facebook, Literally everyone who sent me a friendship invite, I was like, oh, you want to be my friend? Yes, friends, friends. And you try to build, you know, to be like, you know, I want to reach that 5,000 mark of like, where Facebook's like, no, you've got too many friends. You can't have any more friends, you know? Until I started really being a bit more critical about it, you know, and to say, are we really friends? Like, do I really know you? Maybe, maybe not, you know? So I think also maybe um, being a, a lot more careful about your social interactions online as well, you know, um, the connections that you make with people, understanding that there are people who are online for other reasons, you know, and for you to be very careful with that, not giving out your personal information to any stranger um, online is something that's really, really important, you know? Um, but I think also, oh, reading terms and conditions of, of, of websites and, and, and all <laughs> Do you yeah, read you know, that really, that really <laughs> long thing that no one ever reads, that one that you just scroll down to the bottom and it's just like, yes, accept, accept, you know? Um, I'm guilty of it too, I know, you know, but I think it's something that we really do need to take a lot more care into, you know? Um, for businesses, I'd also then say, speak to someone who knows, you know, when it comes to cybersecurity, you know, um, have someone who is helping you set that up, especially if you're going to be doing business online. So now when it comes to e-commerce, you know, make sure that whoever has set up your e-commerce site knows how to do so safely, you know? Um, and yeah, I think, I think really just seek the advice of those who know, don't try and do it all um, yourself because when it comes to um, cybersecurity and e-commerce, I mean, that could land you in a lot of hot water as, um, as a business, you know? So I think for me, and we see it a lot when we do our internet safety training, is that a lot of people will just be like, hey, the internet, there's too many things online. I'm just not gonna get my kid online or I'm just not gonna go online, which, it's it's not sustainable it's not something that you that you can't do so for me rather not be scared of it but just inform yourself you know read up on all of the articles when it comes to cyber security how to engage um in safe ways online there's a lot of information that's out there um again as digify africa we are also um, that's part of our mission as well in, in, in spreading information around that, you know, so you can check out our platform for some tips on, on, on how to do it. But I think, yeah, just the, um, the same concepts that we have in real life, you know, where you don't talk to strangers, you don't give out your information to strangers. I think it's stuff that we must carry on to onto the online space and just be very careful about, about it. Um, Two-factor uh, or two-step uh, verification or authentication Certification of your passwords and stuff. So simple stuff like that would be really good for you to 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 set up on your Google um, or on your 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 internet settings in in general. So I think that there are many ways in which we can um, be safe online. And Dulega, your perspective. What are the trip tips? What are the tricks? How do we stay safe online? First of all, I would say, especially for uh, teenagers and also parents. Um, we do have a, a program that we are rolling out in the next six months. Um, it's called Elise Lam, which is basically my world, but basically your digital world. Um, and I would say go there first. <laughs> um, you know, get the tips that you need um, as a young person, as a teenager, and also, you know, as a parent, just to equip yourself um, as well. Um, we also have this program also for teachers as well. 
um but in in terms of businesses there's so much you can do i mean to protect you you know the business intelligence of just your company and your information architecture and all of that stuff um there's so many measures that you can put in that um Karaza has has mentioned and just personally things like cookies informing yourself on what a cookie is you know you go to a website and you just click accept <laughs> but cookies literally track your movement um even in other websites so it's like your personal information is not protected when you don't know what you're accepting and i love that Karaza mentioned terms and conditions because a cook accepting a cookie on a website is essentially accepting that we want to have your information simple that's exactly what they're trying to say um so when you don't know those things you'll just accept 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 and then now all your information is out there it's like your dirty laundry being out there so yeah the internet is quite dangerous in that sense but also you know we have common sense we have internet again to help us and inform us yeah in, in order to protect ourselves Well ladies thank you so much for your time your your insights have been incredibly helpful um, and uh, thank you for for sharing your perspectives Thank you so for having fun. Thank you very much so much fun Yes